Hello, I'm Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival and today um, I'm just showing you the final um, modification or the uh, the end of the modification for my um, CRKT Chogan Tomahawk um, <clears throat> and so this is where we're at okay so uh, I've got the uh, CRKT uh, Chogan sheath uh, which is uh, very nice and um, currently got the um, well those that have been following it the uh, handles all up to speed done about um, five or six weeks worth of uh, boiled linseed oil on it and we've got our uh, uh, handle protector here okay um, to protect the handle from any um, misguided hits on uh, timber and um, that's pretty much us also we've got the uh, lanyard here on the end here uh, for those that are interested in that I've done a, a double fisherman's knot on either end so there's two there's a double fisherman's knot here and a double fisherman's knot over on the other side here okay and of course this can be uh, lengthened out to uh, whatever um, length you need it to be okay so to get a uh, good grasp of the uh, tomahawk handle for those that are interested I'll show you how we do that now what we do is just put it around uh, one thumb like so and then we just wrap wrap the uh, uh, paracord this way okay and we come we come around and we grasp the handle like so okay all right, and so that you have the uh, paracord uh, there holding onto it, so you can um, get a good grip of the um, uh, the handle on the uh, tomahawk. So you can use one handed if you wish. Um, you can slide slide your you can make it to whatever length you want this paracord, okay, to get right on the end of the um, handle to where it feels comfortable to get maximum um, inertia or maximum power. All right, when you swing the um, tomahawk. Um, this is what I also use for my uh, knife as well, uh, my uh, bushcraft survival knife, okay? And um, this is what we used to do in the Defence Force when we used to hold batons for riot training as well, so that we could uh, we wouldn't lose the uh, baton. If it, does, if it does come out of your hand, like it gets pulled out of your hand, um, like for example the... Uh, axe for some reason was getting pulled out of your hand um, got caught in something was tug pulling you under water whatever um, or pulled by another person you could actually you can still release it like so all right so <clears throat> you can still as, as it's getting pulled away from you all right you can just release the cordage like that so it can still come off so if you do need to let go for an emergency situation you can um, otherwise uh, you don't need to okay so here I've got it set at the length just for uh, when I'm just if I'm just using my hand bare hand without gloves okay and if I was to wear gloves all you need to do is just cinch it up like so okay pull, pull the two um, knots together okay and that'll make the cord longer again if you put gloves on then then you can see here there's enough room, extra space here for a glove. Okay, so whatever size glove you're uh, using, um, you can adjust it to that. So you don't need, I see a lot of people buying plastic pieces and things to like be able to cinch it up and everything. You don't need to. This is nice and simple. Double fisherman's knot, okay, on each end to slide together. I won't show you how to do that because I no doubt there's probably plenty of videos on online. Anyway, so uh, getting back to the tomahawk as a whole, um, this is the uh, final uh, thing of the modification. Uh, I've done quite a bit to it with the uh, um, cleaning out the inside of the um, the tomahawk uh, head. Okay, uh, so it's nice and smooth. Sanding down all the handle. Uh, getting the uh, sheath and everything else, um, making two uh, handle protectors. Um, I'm not quite sure which one I'll go with. Whether I'll go with the one with the green, um, with the green uh, paracord, 550 paracord, or 
the one with the khaki or tan uh, coyote sorry coyote brown type uh, paracord it's quite nice I actually like that one everyone else in my uh, family that I've asked seem to like the green one but uh, I like I like the I like the I like the coyote brown okay um, so I might swap out this uh, lanyard here for a coyote brown yet don't know I'll see how see how I feel as I go um, what do you think green all right put on the green here okay or stick with the uh, coyote brown not sure anyway so uh, this is all pretty much ready to go now um, and all I've got to really decide now is uh, how I'm going to carry it okay um, I really would like to carry it on my um, on my webbing so first line basically uh, which means you, you've got it on you all the time like when you go out in the bush um, you've got it on you 24 7 okay it, it, it's it's right beside you all the time um, so that would be attaching it to my webbing if I was to do that um, I'll probably have to pull off one of my um, pouches on the webbing probably have to pull off one of my water bottles um, uh, that's a that's a big ask because water is so important like I carry two two water bottles um, and two cups canteens on me at all times so um, and I've done that for years so lo losing one water bottle and a cups canteen uh, potentially is, is something I'm, I'm not really quite sure I want to do but I do do want to have this on me at all times so I might have to decide whether I'm gonna what I'm gonna do there okay um, or might have to put it onto the pack but that's not really somewhere I want to have it I want to have this on me permanently because it's uh, so such a good tool All right it's it's you know if you get if you get stuck out in the in the bush or you're in a situation this is something you want on you you want a you want a good knife and 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 uh, something like this okay obviously carrying around a big axe um, is a lot heavier and a lot more um, takes up a lot more space and uh, it, 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 it also takes up a lot, you know, um, it's a lot more uh, tedious to carry around, you know. Um, and, and you're not going to be carrying it around on your first line, as in on you 24-7, an axe. That, like a large axe will normally go on your pack. So, um, but this here can go carried on you. You just got to find somewhere to carry it where it's not going to get in the way, but it's easily accessible. Okay, you need to be able to access it uh, quickly quickly um, anyway uh, what's your thoughts on um, whether I should have the green paracord on the uh, protector on here or the coyote brown or the um, and same with the uh, the uh, hand, uh, what, do, what do we call it the um, <coughs> the handle cord here okay I've forgotten what we call it now um, don't know why it's gone out of my mind. Who cares? All right, piece of cord at the end to hold it on, to hold on to it properly. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'll leave that with you, and uh, I'll get back shortly with uh, my ideas on where I'm actually going to carry this this little baby. Okay, so I've gone over my uh, my main webbing over here um, on the ground here, and um, I can't seem to uh, find a uh, place that will uh, be able to fit the chogan on there. Uh, where it's um, easily accessible, um, won't get in the way of anything else that I need to get that's, that, that needs to be easily accessible. And also, it won't fit on there where it will be, I can find a place that will be safe, uh, where, where it's, um, you know, where you're, to, where, where you're to fall over or something like that. Um, so at this stage, um, I can't fit it on my uh, my main webbing. So um, now I have had to look somewhere else. So I thought maybe the chest webbing will be the next best uh, option. Okay. So in fact, it's probably a better option than uh, the main webbing because if I had to drop that for some reason due to weight um, and having to uh, diddy mail get out of there, which means get out of there uh, ASAP or quickly. Um, or bug out for some of those that understand that um, 
then I may have to drop that, okay? Worst case scenario, I may have to drop that, uh, which I wouldn't want to, but if I did, I'd still have this. So what I'm looking at doing is I actually had a uh, pouch here uh, with a, uh, a folding knife on here, and I always had that over here, okay? And so what I've decided to do is take this folding pouch off, so a molly, molly pouch. For those that don't know molly, it's uh, attached with... Um, a uh, bit of webbing like this on the back, okay, and I've decided to fit this chogan into here, okay, where it'll fit in like so, alright, now, this is my plan at this stage, alright, uh, it can fit in here nicely, I can basically, um, I can undo the main clip quite easily, I can undo this clip, and I can undo this clip here, and I can take the chogan out, Okay, easily accessible. So put it back in, nice and easy as well. Um, put the uh, main clip on. Put this here clip on. And I can also put this other clip on over here as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do though, is um, I've decided to... Uh, Put the uh, molly on the opposite side of uh, this here chogan, which is probably not a bad idea anyway, because if I did want to move this from here and attach it to something else that needed molly, um, then I would have that ability. So uh, probably not a bad idea for um, the uh, for chogan. Uh, CRKT that is um, to maybe look at putting um, uh, <coughs> the uh, molly onto the back of uh, the um, sheath here on the sheets not a bad idea at all okay um, so that's what I'm looking at doing is putting the molly on the back of this okay although I'm not going to use this particular pouch here because uh, it's quite a good little pouch. I've got another pouch that I'm uh, not currently using that's got Velcro on the back. I'm just going to um, pull this apart and I'm going to uh, re-modify it um, and use this to um, stitch onto here with my trusty sewing awl. Okay, so uh, if you haven't got one of these, uh, it's called a Speedy Stitcher Sewing Awl. Get one, well worth it. Uh, I use them, use them all the time, use them for years, um, take it everywhere you go when you go out in the bush and things like that. Absolutely a must in my opinion. Um, I make so many things out of this. Anything that you, you know, so you don't have to take it to a professional to go and get it made, you can just do it yourself and then you get exactly what you want done. So that's the plan. Uh, once I've done that, I'll probably spray paint this uh, if it works out all good. And um, that should keep this here once I place it onto here, molly it in, um, I should be able to molly the sheath in place and that should keep this nice and safe. Uh, with that, I should be able to still raise my knees, no problem at all. I can still put my other webbing on, uh, it doesn't affect, it doesn't get in the way. Um, and this is easily accessible um, uh, to be able to use straight away. Um, so that's, that's the plan. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to spend the uh, rest of the uh, evening... Um, slapping it together and uh, fingers crossed everything goes well the good thing is if it doesn't go well you just unstitch it okay um, I haven't really done stitching with leather before but it should be no different than using um, uh, Cordura or any other uh, material okay you've just got to make sure that you, you, you're careful in what you're doing so um, yeah that's the plan all right um, so I'll get back uh, once I've done it and hopefully she all turns out well. Be back shortly. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I've finished making the uh, the pouch, okay, or the uh, molly attachment to the um, chogan sheath and uh, I'll show you how she works. Okay, so all we've got to do is uh, we unclip in here, here, and here, and it brings out the chogan, okay, as I showed you earlier, okay, to go back in, same thing again, all right, just 
put that in, bump that on, okay, and clip that, clip that into place. All right, so she's working really, really well. Um, the only thing I need to do is uh, take off the uh, lanyard, okay, because uh, it may get caught uh, in bush and branches and stuff like that, even though it's hanging in the front. I could put a, um, a black uh, inner tube, put a black inner tube, just a, um, just a little bit, just to hold it in place if I wish to, so I may do that as well, just to keep it out of the way. But as far as the actual, uh, as far as the actual uh, molly goes, <coughs> I'll pull it off here so you can have a have a quick look at it. <clears throat> Where are we? Molly's got stuck there, hasn't it? There we go. Okay. So what have I done? This is basically the uh, Molly thing that I've done here. Alright, so I've actually put some um, press studs on. So I've got the press stud for the Molly that goes down through the back here. Alright. It's a bit hard to see. But uh, it goes down through there. Alright, and then it basically clips in place here. And then I've got a couple of other um, press studs on each side. Uh, it looks a bit huckery at the moment, but I'm going to paint that. Okay, and they go around and clip on in place. So what actually happens is with the... Uh, pull this molly out. So what I've actually done is with the uh, sheath here, I feed through the first uh, clip, okay, and then I've come around and I fed the, fed it through here. Right, you can see that that one there, okay. It's just fed through, all right, and then I just clip it up, press stud. All right into place. All right, so that's how she's looking there. All right, and there's the press stud on the back. All right, like so. And then for the uh, second um, press stud, I come around. All right, around the front, and clip that on over here. Alright, so that's how she's looking at the front of the um, sheath. Okay, this piece up here that I've got here is just an extra piece at the moment. I'm, I'm, I, that, that was just attached to it, um, to the pouch. So I might keep that for something else. Or I might, um, uh, I might, actually, I might actually turn that into a bit of a, a strap there like that, I might just um, attach that like that there for a belt if I wanted to put that on a belt or a D-ring or something else like that as another option so looking from behind you can see here where I've got the molly okay one going through the top here all right another one going through the uh, bottom through here okay and then I've got the uh, press stud here all right and obviously the uh, strap that goes down through all the molly, okay, and clips to the uh, press stud down the bottom, down the bottom here, okay. Um, and of course, that all uh, attaches here on the molly on the uh, chest webbing, 
Okay, so uh, quite a good, uh, quite a good little system. It's actually uh, turned out a little bit better than what I thought. I was actually wasn't actually going to use press studs, and um, I had three left over. I think four actually, and I use uh, use three of them. So I've got to get me some more of those. But uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, probably just go into the garage and I'll paint this. Okay, so it's not all black. Um, just give it a bit of paint, slap a bit of paint over it, and um, let it dry overnight, and she'll be good to go. But uh, as far as um, accessibility for the uh, for the uh, Chogan, um, <clears throat> it's now a lot more accessible. Um, it's on me all the time, and um, hey, easy to put in, easy to get out. Um, it's not going to interfere with anything. Uh, rifle or anything like that it's not I don't think it's gonna be hitting it or anything else like that um, worst case scenario I can always take it back off take take the chogan back off and um, attach it using the molly uh, to a pack um, or anywhere else that I want to attach it to so all in all a good outcome um, as I've said earlier um, if you get the opportunity to get a, a, a speedy stitch of sewing awl well worth getting one um, so that you can do this type of thing to your to your gear okay you can make up your own stuff and um, just just go with it and um, always uh, you probably want to get some press studs as well okay um, get a tool stud kit like this something like that okay if you can see that yeah all right so uh, yeah, good outcome. Just a bit of paint job now, and she's uh, good to go. Um, the only other thing I've got to do now is uh, find out, find somewhere else to put my um, folding knife. And uh, I normally carry my um, diamond sharpener in here as well, so I don't want to be leaving those behind. Those are going to have to be attached somehow. Um, I'm not quite sure where yet, but there's always plenty of other places to to put things. So um, thanks for coming along, I hope you enjoyed, hope uh, I've uh, helped some people to uh, learn something new about the Chogan, and um, subscribe if you like, um, press the like button if you do like, and uh, thumbs up if you uh, like it as well, and um, by all means share, comment, and um, I'll catch you on the next video, catch you later, bye bye.